Do you sometimes wonder whether you should actually write a novel and not a memoir? Perhaps there are things that have happened in your life that you're really not sure you want to actually discuss in a memoir, but you do want to put it on the page. Well, then do consider writing a novel. You could also do an autofiction. Now, I'm going to deal with that in a completely separate video, and I know I've promised before to do a video on that topic, and now I will deliver on that promise. In this video, I'm going to look specifically just at why you might want to write a novel. Now, this question came out of an interview I did with Melody Ann of Author Nation. Author Nation is a community by authors for authors. So if you want to be a successful non-fiction author, do check out Melody Ann at authornationtube.com. But in this video, I'm going to answer her question as to will I write another memoir? And I think the insights I share may help you to know whether you should write a novel or a memoir. So Esatino Media had a question for you and I have the exact same question. Uh, will you be writing another memoir? I don't think so. I don't think so. But what I do think I will be writing is, is a novel. And the reason why is because in writing this, this memoir was a very specific memoir. But even in this memoir, there were some things I wanted to say that I didn't say. And the reason I didn't say them is because the whole purpose of my memoir was not to expose other people's issues or faults. It was to grapple with my own emotions, with my parents and with the situation. But there were things I wanted to say, but didn't say because I didn't want to hurt people. I didn't want to expose other people's faults. I wasn't there to throw anybody under the bus, but there's still issues I feel I want to give voice to. And I think that's something writing does for me. It allows me to give voice to things that I have inside of me. Uh, there are other things I've observed in life and in families that strike me as perplexing and I want to write about them. But if I write about them in a memoir, I have to kind of indicate who I'm talking about. And I don't want to do that because um, I don't want to hurt anybody. It's not about exposing people again, as I said, with their faults. It's not about holding up the beacon to them and saying, hey, um, this is how you've acted and this is how it's impacted me. But I do want to explore that behavior. So I think what I'm going to be doing is writing a novel. And in that novel, I will be able to explore and unpack behaviors, family dynamics, uh, things that happen that, uh, that I find are interesting and would make a good story. So they say a lot of novels are actually true stories. And so I think there's just a lot I want to explore that memoir is not the medium for it, but novel yeah. is. Yeah. yeah. Well, interestingly enough, when I speak to fiction authors, I, I work only with nonfiction, but I, I speak with fiction authors all the time. And they, they almost always have something in their real life that they are working on or grappling with and they've decided to write a fiction about it but on the moon rabbits on the moon because it's so far removed from the real situation that they can take these rabbits who live on the moon and have this whole story around it and work through these issues without harming anyone throwing anyone under the bus and all of these things which are, you know really not appropriate right really no. not appropriate. yeah yeah um, so timothy john luke smith says it's wonderful that you shared your memoirs and ideas, Brenda. Yes, thank you very much. And I also love your channel, Melody. Thank you, Timothy, for loving my channel as well. Timothy says he is looking forward to your novel. So we're, you know, we want you to just make some space for that so that we can read it when it is out. And I'd love to talk with you again about it. Thank you very much, Brenda. Last question. Um, wh where can people get a hold of you? If you want to contact me, the best place to do that is through my website. On my website, there's a Let's Connect tab and a Let's Connect form. So you can fill that in and just say, let's connect and I'll get back to you or let me know what you'd like to connect over or about or what you're looking for. And that is really the best way to connect with me.